we present the self-taught computer programmer series. In this lesson, we answer the question, what is a visual programming language, usually shortened to VPL? Due to the time factor, it may not be possible to learn all programming concepts in a computer science lesson. However, computer programming is a skill you can learn on your own. Most highly experienced programmers taught themselves how to code. You too, can. You probably already know that computer programmers write code to instruct a computer how to perform an action. Computer programmers build the apps installed in the computing devices we use every day. The same way we communicate with other people using a language, computer programmers use a coding language to communicate with computers. When you were growing, you learned to write, understand, and speak your first language, probably your mother tongue. When you joined school, you learned other languages that were taught, for example, English. In the same way, you can learn a coding language that will enable you to talk to computing devices. Just like every other beginner, you probably think that coding is hard to learn. Guess what? It is not. The most important step to take is to get started. By and by, you will begin to write computer programs such as animated stories, computer games, and mobile apps. When computer programmers began coding, they would write computer programs using long sequences of numbers, zeros, and ones. Today, computer programs are written using words and symbols that you can easily understand. For example, you can tell a cat character to play the sound, meow three times. You achieve this by writing a simple line of code that reads as follows, repeat three, and in two brackets, play sound meow. This type of human-friendly coding language is called a high-level programming language. Many experts in computer programming use high-level programming languages such as Python and JavaScript. Highly experienced programmers use programming languages that are text-based. This means that the programmer must write lines of code to instruct a computer to perform a task. However, there are simple computer games and animated stories that you can easily create without writing lines of code. You can use visual programming languages. A visual programming language uses graphics or coding blocks that you choose, drag, and join with other blocks in order to create a game or an app. When you join the blocks, they snap together to create a complete program. Examples of visual programming languages are Scratch and Blockly. Scratch allows you to create animated stories and games without writing lines of code. Scratch is highly recommended for coding beginners. Scratch has an area where you drag and test your code. This area is called the scripting or the coding area. In advanced coding where experienced programmers write text-based code, this area for writing and testing code is called an integrated development environment. Scratch is free. You can download it to your desktop or laptop. You can also use it to code online. All you need is to, to set up a user account. To set up a user account in Scratch is quick and easy. All you need is internet and permission from your teacher, parent, or guardian. Proceed as follows. Launch the web browser in your computer. Search for Scratch, and click on it. 
it will take you to Scratch Home page. On the Scratch Home page, select to join. If you do not have an account, you can start creating projects. However, note that without an account, you will not be able to share your projects publicly. Type a username. Type a password. You can uncheck the box below to hide your password from display. Type the password again. Click next to select your country, your date of birth, and your gender. Provide an email address. Verify that you are not a robot. Confirm your account through the email that you provided. You are now ready to start creating and sharing projects.